Hello, myself Chirak Baloria. Today I have teach you addressing modes for computer organization subject. First, uh, first we will revise prerequisite of the introduction parts of CPU. Here you can see the blue box. It is called control unit. This is arithmetic logic unit. FPU means floating point unit. MU means memory unit. And this is the register. Here. A prerequisite of register inside the CPU. These all are registers uh, A, B, C, D, E, H, L. These all are 8 bit register. So, B, C, D, E, H, L is general purpose register. A is accumulator. Uh, this is flag register. It stores 1 bit at a time. It stores flag value. Here, index register. Index register, there are two registers. One is PC program counter, second one is tech pointer. Program counter stores next instruction address. Now we will see addressing modes. Uh, functionality of microprocessor is execution the instruction. Instruction stored in memory. Uh, uh, microprocessor executes one instruction at a time. Uh, each of the instruction contains operation and operands. It means when, uh, whenever you want to perform operation, you have to need operands. Uh, which kind of operation you have to perform? See over here. Add, subtract, move. Uh, increment load store operands are the data on which the operation is to be performed uh, when you find data on particular address that address is called effective address it is the important for addressing mods topic now operand can be placed either in the processor register or in the memory there are different ways to get the operand uh, because uh, operand is required into the uh, to perform particular operation so the way in which the operand is taken from register or memory is named as addressing mode whenever you fetch the operand from particular address it is uh, uh, this method is called addressing mode these are uh, these all are the different addressing modes first one is immediate register addressing register indirect direct addressing indirect addressing implied addressing relative addressing index addressing base register addressing auto increment or auto decrement addressing first immediate addressing mode in immediate addressing mode direct value is stored into the register see over here you can see the 15 hex is the value or the data it is directly stored in the accumulator so it is called immediate addressing mode this is the example next register addressing mode <coughs> in register addressing mode uh, operand is stored into the direct register so here you can see here a is the operand specified in directly register c is the register a is the operand it is called register addressing mode next register indirect addressing mode whenever you store particular register in uh, another register and the data comes from register uh, addressing a, a different register addressing mode so it is called register indirect addressing mode uh, now we will see one example to better explanation first here you can see a is the accumulator uh, h is the uh, register it stores 8 bit so value of 2 it's 4 bit value of 8 in binary is 4 bit so 4 plus 4 it uh, holds 8 bit data so our address is 2805 so next 8 bit data will store in L so a uh, a means accumulator 2805 means our address so 2805 uh, uh, 2805 is our effective address so we can find the data from 2805 so here you can see H is 28 L is 05 so merge both the numbers so 2805 is the effective address you can find the data a9 a9 stored in the accumulator next direct addressing mode in direct addressing mode address is directly stored into the register so over here you can see a is the accumulator and 2805 is the uh, uh, address so uh, over here you can see that uh, a for accumulator 2805 is the address so uh, what is the value of 2805 so 2805 address has 5c value so 5c stored in the accumulator so 2805 is our effective address next is the indirect addressing mode in indirect addressing mode uh, address stored into the another address it is called indirect addressing mode uh, here you can see that 2802 it is a uh, uh, one address it is stored in the accumulator so now we let uh, let us we will see one example 
first a is the accumulator 2802 is the address uh, over here you can see that 2802 holds 8 bit data it is the binary of 2 and binary of 8 merge both the binary numbers and store 8 bit data and uh, plus 1 increment in 2803 you can see is the 0 and 6 uh, you can uh, uh, merge both the binary numbers 0 and 6 uh, finally you can get 2806 2806 is our eff effective address so you can find the data from 2806 so here you can see that 2806 our effective address and ff is the data so indirect addressing mode means uh, address stored into the another address next implied addressing mode implied addressing mode is also called inherent addressing mode uh, in uh, i will give you some example about that complementary accumulator whenever you store data in accumulator then you complement the data particular uh, accumulator data so at that time flag is uh, generated so this is called implied addressing mode again you can see that uh, complement carry flag set carry flag that all are implied addressing mode example next is relative addressing mode relative, uh, relative addressing mode is mostly based on address part and offset so there is one equation to find the effective address using uh, uh, in relative addressing mode first uh, see over here effective address of a brand it is the pc pc means program counter plus 0 1 plus offset program counter and offset value is given in the example so program counter is 2801 so plus 0 1 then offset offset value is 04 so 2801 plus 01 plus 04 it is the 2806 so 2806 is our effective address uh, from 2806 we will find the actual operand value so it is ff again here you can see the next example for relative addressing mode uh, 2803 is the program counter value 01 is already given in equation offset is 03 so it is 2803 plus 01 plus 03 is 2807 so this is the actual operand and 2807 is effective address next index index addressing mode index addressing mode uh, means uh, content the uh, content of index register is added to the address part of in, uh, instruction to obtain effective address so it is also there is one exam uh, one equation is available for this so this is the equation uh, base plus index register so both the value given in the example whenever you show this uh, uh, addressing mode example so base is the 2800 and index register value is 000, zero. so it is 2800 plus 4 times 0 is equal to 2800 so our effective address is 2800 and our data is 9f so uh, here another three example is given you can see over here 2800 is the uh, index register value so here 2801 2802 2803 next base register addressing mode base register addressing mode uh, it is the uh, <coughs> content of base register is added to uh, address part of instruction to obtain effective address now we will see first uh, one example uh, equation of the base register addressing mode is base register plus offset here base register is also uh, given in uh, example and offset is also given in example so this is the base register base register is 2800 0, uh, 2800 and offset value is 0001 so it is 2801 so 2801 is our uh, effective address and f3 is our data here you can see the another example of the base register addressing modes next and the last uh, auto increment or auto decrement addressing mode in auto increment auto decrement addressing mode there are four different types uh, types like uh, uh, if you want to find operand uh, before the increment or after increment so here uh, we will see one example uh, first of all uh, ad, uh, starting address is hl 2802 so when you want to uh, find the data after increment so here is your starting data 2802 and uh, when you increase uh, your address so 2802 is 2803 after increments matlab, means uh, you have to first increment then uh, effective uh, after uh, 
when you increment uh, the address and you find the data 08 so it is called uh, after increment uh, its value is used so this is the before increment here 2804 is the starting and whenever you uh, want to uh, increase the address you have to first take data from 2804 and then increase the address so it is called before incremented so same as auto decrement next here is the tricks for remembering types of old addressing mode uh, you can see over here this is the trick thank you if you like this video please share and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you